it's time that we need state management. Now we have the product ID in product details screen. And to get the data that's related to this ID, we need to pass data from main shopping screen to red product item and then to product screen. All this through the constructors. Okay, that's good. So what's the problem? What is the problem? The problem is that in a bigger apps, which have a lot of widgets, when some child needs some data, we will pass the data as argument through the constructors, through a lot and a lot of constructors. I mean a lot, a lot. From the top of the widget tree till we reach this child. That's okay if you will use this data only in a small widget tree. Because imagine you are building a huge app and your data is changeable and need to access it at more than one place in your widget tree. It could be a nightmare. Nightmare? And this is so much confusing. And of course, this also will affect on the performance. So to fix this, we need state management. And there is many patterns to manage state. But the one which is recommended from Google and Flutter team called a provider. So what's provider and how to use it? Now I want you to focus with me. Okay, focus, Mitchell, focus, focus. I will explain provider in a very simple way. At first, we need a provider to manage some kind of data, such as a database or data container, but in a form of class which provide us this data. And you can get this data in any child in the app widget tree. As soon as you add your data provider on the top of this children's widgets, and you can get the data without passing it through constructors. Are you focused? Step number two, in provider class, you will define almost three things. Your data as a variables or a list, a getter and setter for your data, and finally the methods or the functions that manage your data. For example, a function to get data from ABI or local database, or function to do some operation on your data before getting it or assigning it. And you are free to add more usage of your class. And the step number three, after finishing defining and describing your provider as a class, we will take one single object from this class and use this object to access your data or your methods in this class. Okay, just summarize. Okay, okay, let's summarize it again. You create a class with some features which contain variables that hold your data and other methods that control your data. After that, you will take one object from this class and add it to the top of your widget tree. And the last step in provider, use your data. By creating a special connection channel to this object that we have created on the top of our widget tree from anywhere in the tree. That's it, that's it, all the three steps to understand the provider. This is simple and general explanation for provider. We will go deeper with the provider while we working on our shopping app. And I will show you in the next video how can we use provider in real life.